Hello YouTube and welcome back to Friday Minis. Now, have you ever seen in web pages, perhaps in image editing programs, they actually express color using this very strange notation? Well, today we're gonna actually try and break this down and, well, try to make sense out of this string of characters. The first thing you need to know is that these are actually hexadecimal numbers. Essentially, numbers expressed in a system that runs from 0 through the F instead of 0 through the 9. Essentially, this is the mapping from decimal to hexadecimal. 10 as we know it is A in hex, 11 is B, 12 is C, 13 is D, 14 is E, and 15 is F. I'm not going to go into too much detail about how hexadecimal works. If you're interested to find out more, you might want to check out one of my earlier series called How to Count. As always, annotation link somewhere on screen. The idea is this. In a hexadecimal color, normally, you know, this is how it's expressed. And what we want to do is we want to break it up into four pieces. We start off with the hex symbol. Essentially what that is saying is, well, this is a hexadecimal number. Then, essentially, we have three sets of two characters. Each of these are actually red, green, and blue. So essentially, as this value changes, the amount of red in the color changes as well. Similarly, the number in the center affects the green color. The number at the far right affects the blue color. So RGB, red, green, and blue. Individually, each pair of hexadecimal values just run from 00, 0 to FF, and essentially, that just represents a number between 0 and 255. Obviously, the greater the number, the more of that particular color. When you put all of that together, essentially what you're doing is you're mixing the primary colors to create, you know, the final color. That is, of course, also why every bit of color can be translated into this code. Essentially, we're just looking at the red channel, the green channel, the blue channel, and deciding the intensities of each. Varying these intensities, of course, creates different colors. And that is basically it. That is the whole meaning behind a hexadecimal color. That's all there is for this episode of Friday Minis. As always, don't forget to like, comment, favorite, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter. You're watching 0612TV.